Hi guys, this is Camille. She's 36 weeks pregnant with her second child. She has a beautiful son, Christophe, who is two and a half years old. Camille is actually a chiropractic student and she's very proactive throughout her whole pregnancy process. So we're glad to have her today to share a little bit of tips how she stays healthy throughout her whole pregnancy. I know you're very active physically throughout your whole pregnancy. Try to be. <laughs> yeah, a lot of moms when they're pregnant, they're afraid that if they're too active, it might not be safe for the baby. Mm -hmm. What do you, what's your point of view on that? Definitely talk to your doctor. Right. Um, I've been consulting my chiropractor, who is my one of my main doctors throughout this whole thing, just to make sure mm -hmm. I'm not overdoing it in any area. Right. Um, I was staying regularly fit before pregnancy, and I had normal blood pressure, normal eating and everything. So my doctor didn't see any risk in me continuing mm -hmm. to exercise as long as I made sure not to like get my heart level too high. Okay. So definitely talk to your doctor before doing any sort of strenuous activity. Okay. Um, but I think walking is a good recommendation walking. for every woman. Nice. Like that's really good for the round yeah. ligaments, relaxing everything in the uterus as well as just getting out there and getting some fresh air, which is going to help you relax yeah. as a preparing mom for this childbirth. Right. And then, uh, what kind of exercises do you do on a regular basis? What's your routine like? Um, well, I usually work out in the mornings before coming to school. Okay. And my gym opens at 5, so I try to be there at 5.01. <laughs> 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 Along with all those old grandmas and grandpas. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I get there early in the morning. I'll do some stretching beforehand because stretching is huge before you work out. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will do some weight training, some squats are <laughs> necessary during my week, mm -hmm. some upper back, um, upper body stuff, some lower okay. body stuff, alternating between the two of those. Mm -hmm. And then on days that I don't feel like going to the gym, I don't push it. I don't beat myself up over it. I'll go take a walk outside, like an extra long walk outside and get some fresh very air. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And walking is not too much on you. Or no. Maybe, and you can see it with the family. Exactly. That's exactly. Great. Sometimes I bring my little toddler along, except for it takes, <laughs> it takes a lot longer that way. <laughs> get him ready and all that, right? Yeah. Cool. And so you're Six, uh, 36 weeks, yep. so four more weeks until delivery. Four more weeks. How, how are you preparing for that? And I don't know if you're ever really prepared. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yeah. um, some stuff I've been doing to try to get mentally prepared mm -hmm. has been watching a lot of natural birthing videos mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yeah, I saw that on your yep. Instagram. Yep. <laughs> I watch cool. a lot. I do that in the mornings yeah. with a cup of coffee usually on the weekends right. and just watch and see how these other women are doing it and what they, um, what methods they use right. to like mentally prepare. Yeah. And I listen to a lot of online coaching. Um, BirthFit is a really good Birthfit. one I recommend to nice. other pregnant mommies just because mm -hmm. they talk about, well, they got the three pillars. So they got the working out, they got the essential eatings, and mm -hmm. then they have um, chiropractic as one of their foundations mm -hmm, as well. Nice. So they kind of incorporate all three of those in order to get ready for childbirth and delivery. Awesome. And so they have a lot of good podcasts out mm -hmm. there to listen to. And I've been listening to those on Mariah to school and from school instead of music so yeah, that's nice yeah yeah so as a chiropractic student have you um how does your adjustments help you with your pregnancy i guess oh, so much yeah. um with my first kid like i was telling you earlier yeah. i didn't get adjusted yeah and i would notice my lower back would hurt all the time mm. and i have my husband like trying to massage me to like ease it up but I was constantly in pain and like my hips just hurt like crazy. Yeah. I thought childbirth was like that's what you were supposed to expect throughout the whole pregnancy. This time around I've had minimal to no back pain because wow. I've been getting adjusted regularly by a pediatric specialist doc, mm -hmm. um, Jen Santos actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. she's amazing and she's worked with lots of mommies and babies. Yeah. Awesome. And so she's been able to adjust me on the weekly mm -hmm. and get me into shape in um, that kind of sense, I guess. Right. Yeah. Um, and I've noticed my back pain has been um, like so decreased compared mm -hmm. to last pregnancy. I would highly recommend all mommies check it out. It's a total game changer. Pregnancy mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a time of pain and low back pain right. and aches and just like laying on the couch. It can yeah. actually be a time where your body can like be Superwoman. Yes. You can be Wonder Woman. Yeah. It's really cool. And also for the newborn too, after you give birth, you plan on getting the baby, the baby girl getting adjusted yes. as well? Nice. Yes, right away, yeah. right away. I've definitely Great. seen benefits from that. With my first son, or with my first kid, <laughs> my, first my son. only son, my <laughs> only son, uh, with my first, um, I got him adjusted. I think his first adjustment was about seven days afterwards. Wow. And I noticed that he would, like before that, he was only nursing really well on the one side. Okay. And after I got him adjusted, he was able to nurse on both sides because yeah. his atlas was out. Oh, really? So once he got his atlas put back in place, he was able to look both mm. directions and Increased he was able to range nurse. Of motion. Yep, it was awesome. wonderful. Super cool to see that firsthand. Yeah, well, good luck with everything, Camille. Thank and you. Hope you have a good birthing experience. Thank